In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the ghost effect. To begin, I just added a video clip to my timeline. Let's start by holding down the Alt key and dragging the clip onto the track above it to create a duplicate. Then move your duplicated track slightly to the right to offset it from the original. Next, I'm going to click and drag the border between my V2 and V3 tracks so that I can see more of my duplicated clip. Before we continue, click on the Wrench button and make sure that you have Show Video Keyframes checked. Now we're going to create our ghosting effect by adjusting the clip's opacity over time with the help of the Pen tool. So go ahead and select the Pen tool. On your duplicated clip, click and drag the line to the bottom or top of your clip to create your first keyframe. A little further down, drag the line to create a second keyframe. Repeat this process for the rest of your clip to create a diagonal pattern of keyframes. If you want your ghosting effect to be slower, space your keyframes further away. If you want the effect to be faster, place them closer together. Alright, and now when I play this back, we have a nice looking ghosting effect in Premiere. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.